all these computers, all these handhelds, all these cell phones, all these laptops, all the servers, basically what we're getting out of all these connections is we're getting one machine. But there is only one machine. And our little handhelds and devices are actually just little windows into those machines, but that we're basically constructing a single global machine. And so one of the consequences of that, I believe, is that what we have is sort of spectrum of media right now, TV, film, video, that basically it becomes one media platform. And while there's many differences, that in some senses they will share more and more in common with each other. So that the laws of media, such as the fact that copies have no value, the values in the uncopyable things, the immediacy, the authentication, the personalization, that media wants to be liquid, that's really what, what you really want. The reason why things are free is so, so that you can manipulate them, not so that they are free as in beer, but free as in freedom. And the network effects rule, meaning that the more you have, the more you get. The first fax machine, the person who, the, who bought the first fax machine was an idiot because there was nobody to fax to. <laughs> but he or she became an evangelist recruiting others to get the fax machines because it made their purchase more valuable. Those are the effects that we're going to see. Attention is a currency. So those, those laws are going to kind of spread throughout all media. And the other thing about, about this embodiment is that there's kind of what I call the McLuhan reversal. McLuhan was saying machines are the extensions of the human senses, and I'm saying humans are not going to be the extended senses of the machine in a certain sense. So we have a trillion eyes and ears and touches through our digital photographs and cameras and we see them that in things like Flickr where uh, or, or Photosynth, uh, this program from Microsoft that will allow you to assemble a view of a touristy place from the thousands of tourist snapshots of it. It is in a certain sense the machine is seeing through the pixels of individual cameras. It looks more global. If you take this whole thing, it it is a very big machine, very reliable machine, more reliable than its parts. But we could also think about it as kind of a large organism. And so we might re respond to it more as if this was a whole system, more as if this wasn't a large organism that we are going to be interacting with. It's, it's a one, and I don't know what else to call it than the one. We'll have a better word for it, but, but it's a, it's a, there's a unity of some sort that's starting to emerge. And again, I don't want to talk about consciousness. I want to talk about just as if it was like a little bacteria or a Volvox, which is what that organism is. So, to do uh, action, takeaway. So, here's what I would say. There's only one machine, and the web is its OS. All screens look into the one. No bits will live outside the web. To share is to gain. Let the one read it. It's going to be machine readable. You want to make something that the machine can read. And the one is us. We are in the one.